The King James Bible, the first book of the Kings, chapter 9. <clears throat> and it came to pass when Solomon had finished the building of the house of the Lord and the king's house and all, and all Solomon's desires which he had pleased to do, that the Lord appeared to Solomon the second time, as he had appeared unto him at Gibeon. And the Lord said unto him, I have heard thy prayer and thy supplication that thou hast made before me. I have hallowed this house which thou hast built, to put my name there forever, and mine eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. And if thou shalt walk before me, as David thy father walked in integrity of heart and in uprightness, to do according to all that I have commanded thee, and wilt keep my statutes and my judgments, then I will establish the throne of thy kingdom upon Israel forever, as I promised to David thy father, saying, There shall not fall thee a man upon the throne of Israel. Sorry, fail thee a man upon the throne of Israel. But if ye shall at all turn from following me, ye or your children, and will not keep my commandments and my statutes which I have set before you, but go and serve other gods and worship them, then I will cut off Israel out of the land which I have given them. And this house which I have hallowed for my name will I cast out of my sight, and Israel shall be a proverb and a byword among all people. And at this house which is high, every one that passeth by it shall be astonished, and shall hiss, and they shall say, Why hath the Lord doth, why hath, hath the Lord done this unto this land and to this house? And they shall answer, Because they forsook the Lord their God, and the who brought them forth, who brought forth their fathers out of the land of Egypt, and have taken hold upon their gods, and have worshipped them and served them. Therefore hath the Lord brought upon them all this evil. And it came to pass at the end of twenty years, when Solomon was built the two houses, the house of the Lord and the king's house. Now Hiram, the king of Tyre, had furnished Solomon with cedar trees and fir trees and with gold, according to all his desire. And then King Solomon gave Hiram twenty cities in the land of Gal Galilee. And Hiram came out from Tyre to see the cities which Solomon had given him, and they pleased him not. And he said, What cities are these which thou hast given me, my brother? And he called them from the land of Kabul unto this day. And Hiram sent to the king six score talents of gold, and this is the reason of the levy which King Solomon raised, for to build the house of the Lord and his own house, and Milo and the wall of Jerusalem, and Hazor and Megiddo and Gezer. For Pharaoh king of Egypt had gone up and taken Gezer and burnt it with fire, and slain the Canaanites that dwelt in the city, and given it for a present unto his daughter Solomon's wife. And Solomon built Gezer and Beth Horon the nether, and Baalath and Tadmor in the wilderness in the land, and all the cities of store that Solomon had, and the cities of for his chariots, and the cities for his horsemen, and that which Solomon desired to build in Jerusalem and in Lebanon, and in all the land of his dominion, and all the people that were left of the Amorites, Hittites, Perizzites, Hivites, and Jebusites, which were not of the children of Israel, the children of Israel, the children that were left after them in the land, whom the children of Israel also were able to utterly destroy, upon those did Solomon levy a tribute of bond service unto this day. But of the children of Israel did Solomon make no bondsmen, but they were men of war, and his servants, and his princes, and his captains, and rulers of his chariots, and his horsemen. And these were the chief of the officers that were over Solomon's work, five hundred and fifty, which were, which bear rule over the people that wrought in the work. But Pharaoh's daughter came up out. out but Pharaoh's daughter came up out of the city of David unto her house, which Solomon had built for her. Then did he build Milo. And three times in a year did Solomon offer burnt offerings and peace offerings upon the altar which he built unto the Lord, and he burnt incense upon the altar that was before the Lord, so he finished the house. And King Solomon made a navy of ships in Ezron Geber, which is beside Eloth, on the shore of the Red Sea in the land of Edom. And Hiram sent in the navy his servants, shipmen that had knowledge of the sea, with the servants of Solomon. And they came to offer and fetch from thence gold four hundred and twenty talents and brought it to King Solomon. Chapter 10 
And when the queen of Sheba heard of the fame of Solomon concerning the name of the Lord, she came to prove him with hard questions. And she came to Jerusalem, Jerusalem with a very great train, with camels that bear spices and very much gold, and precious stones. And when she was come to Solomon, she communed with him, all, him of all that was in her heart. And Solomon told her all her questions. There was not anything hid from the king, which he told her not. <clears throat> and when the queen of Sheba had seen all Solomon's wisdom and the house that he had built and the meat of his table and the smiting and the sitting of his servants and the attendance of his ministers and their apparel and his cupbearers and his ascent by which he went up unto the house of the Lord, there was no more spirit in her. And she said to the king, it was a true, it was a true report that I heard in mine own land of thy acts and of thy wisdom. Howbeit I believed not the words until I came, and mine eyes had seen it. And behold, the half was not told me. Thy wisdom and prosperity exceedeth the fame which I heard. Happy are thy men, happy are thy servants, which stand continually before thee, and they hear thy wisdom. Blessed be the Lord thy God, which delighted in thee, to set thee on the throne of Israel, because the Lord loved Israel forever. Therefore made he thee king to do judgment and justice. And she gave the king a hundred and twenty talents of gold, and, and of spices of very great store, and precious stones. And there came no more such abundance of spices as these which the queen of Sheba gave to king Solomon. And the navy also of Hiram had, that brought gold from Ophir, brought, it, brought in from Ophir great plenty of uh, almond trees and precious stones. And the king made of the almond trees pillars for the house of the Lord, and for the king's house harps also and psalteries for singers. There came no such almond trees, nor were there seen unto this day. And King Solomon gave unto the queen of Sheba all her desire, whatsoever she asked beside that which Solomon gave her of his royal bounty. So she turned and went to her own country, she and her servants. Now the weight of gold that came to Solomon in one year was six hundred three score and six talents of gold. Besides that he had of the merchant men and of the traffic of the spice merchants and of all the kings of Arabia and of the governors of the country. And King Solomon made two hundred targets of beaten gold. Six hundred shekels of gold went into one target. And he made three hundred shields of beaten gold. Three pound of gold went to one shield. And the king put them in the house of the forest of Lebanon. Moreover, the king made a great throne of ivory and overlaid it with the best gold. The throne had six steps, and the top of the throne was round behind, and there were stays on either side on the place of the seat, and two lions stood beside the stays, and twelve lions stood there on one side and the other upon the six steps, and there was not the like made in any kingdom. And all King Solomon's drinking vessels were of gold, and all the vessels of the house of the forest of Lebanon were of pure gold. None were of silver. It was nothing accounted of in the days of Solomon. For the king had at sea a navy of Tarshish with the navy of Hiram. Once in three years came the navy of Tarshish, bringing gold and silver, ivory and apes, and peacocks. So King Solomon exceeded all the kings of the earth for riches and for wisdom. And all the earth sought to Solomon to hear his wisdom, which God had put in his heart. And they brought every man his present, vessels of silver and vessels of gold, and garments and armor and spices, horses and mules, a rate year by year. And Solomon gathered together chariots and horsemen, and had a thousand and four hundred chariots, and twelve thousand horsemen, whom he bestowed in the cities for chariots, and with the king at Jerusalem. And the king made silver to be in Jerusalem as stones, and cedar made to be as the sycamore trees that are in the vale for abundance. And Solomon had horses brought out of Egypt and linen yarn, and the king's merchants received the linen yarn at a price. And, the ch and, and a chariot came up and went out of Egypt for six hundred shekels of silver, and a horse for a hundred and fifty. And, f and so for all the kings of the Hittites, and for the kings of Syria, did they bring them out by their means?